It's something most of us have had to ask ourselves before. How many of these can you have before you should hand off the keys? Well, it turns out the answer is different for every person and depends on many factors. How many drinks do you think it would take you to be over the 0.08 limit? Three, maybe. Three drinks? Maybe four. It's a question most people don't really know the answer to. How many drinks is too many to get behind the wheel? Well, we put two girls and two guys to the test, with Idaho State Police monitoring their alcohol intake and blood alcohol content along the way. Cheers. Sitting and drinking is like, whew. Once you stand up, you're like, whoo, okay, I drink a lot. Both girls in the experiment, Daylene and Amber, are roughly the same size and hadn't eaten in a few hours. After three drinks, both girls blew under the legal limit, but how they felt is a different story. 0.04. How do you feel? Pretty buzzed. I feel like I would not drive a car right now. And what did you blow? 0.06. State police say since women generally have a higher body fat percentage than men, they usually feel the effects of alcohol more. After three drinks, our largest drinker, Ori, only blew a 0.015, and after five, only 0.028. However, in our study, drinker number four, Max, went drink for drink with the girls. I'm on six. How do you feel? Drunk. I like six. I, my, it's like six. It equals out to six. But Max ended up blowing the highest BAC of 0.130. Oh, oh Max, you're drunk. I knew it. That's I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how the point system works. I'm just drunk. <laughs> That's all I know. Ori, on the other hand, being a big guy, he's had 10 beers over the same amount of time uh, and got to a point zero six three. So technically, by the law, he is legal to drive right now. 10 beers? Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Pretty tipsy. All participants said they felt incapable of driving even while under the legal limit. Impairment and illegal per se do not come straight across. You can have people who are very impaired that are not at the state's illegal limit, which is kind of scary that you have people that can drive legally, but they're not up to the 0 .08. Oh, would you ever feel comfortable getting behind the wheel right now? No, no. Testing out a few field sobriety tests proved even while under the legal limit, even a few drinks can leave you unsteady on your feet and dangerous behind the wheel. Like just like walk like nine steps and all I heard was like, okay, nine steps. I was just listening to like general directions. I would, I would have failed, but I passed breathalyzer. Police say a huge factor also has to do with how much food is in your system when you start drinking. If you're on a full stomach, the alcohol takes much longer to digest its way into your bloodstream. And if you plan to skip dinner, expect to see your BAC raise much more quickly. State police say breathalyzers at bars and clubs aren't always accurate and want to be sure people understand that your blood alcohol content increases even after you stop drinking as the alcohol makes its way through your stomach and into your bloodstream. So getting behind the wheel right after you finish a drink could get you into trouble 15 or 20 minutes into your drive home. I'm Karen Lair for Today 6 on your side.